Miss Akshra Kol from Aspen Scottish School, Noida, studying in 5th grade. Today, I am going to speak on the topic, my idea of truly free India. Trying to define freedom is like trying to define breathing. It is always there. It is a state of being. Most importantly, its value is understood only when it is taken away from us. It is waking up every morning knowing that choices and decisions can be made only by you and nobody else. Our country has always set a wonderful example of being democratic and I am proud of being part of it. But if there is something that I would like to be free from, it has to be from the regionalism and the stereotype that exists in every part of the country. Diversity has become our weakness rather than our strength. I want to be free from being asked what caste and community I belong to. I am a proud Indian and that should be enough for any fellow Indian. As a girl, it meant being able to follow my dreams. Most importantly, as an individual, it will mean living in a society where I don't have to pretend. If on this Independence Day, there is one thing I want to be free from, it is pretense. Live and let live are words I have often heard but seldom seen practiced. Most people only pretend to practice what they preach. Stop talking about it. Start living it. Thank you and Jai Hind. Hello everyone, I am Aisha Aram of Class 7B and today I am going to speak on the topic My Ideas on a Truly Free India. Freedom is something that everyone has heard of but if we ask for its meaning, everyone will give you different meaning. It's because everyone has different opinions about freedom. My Ideas on a Truly Free India is a country free of prejudice, discrimination, corruption, and racism and all those negative things. A country with unity and diversity. No countryman should live with fear on his mind. They should hold their hands fearlessly and should have confidence in themselves. Knowledge should be available to all the students of all class, gender and race. All the various regions of India and their people should be united in fighting among themselves for supremacy. Everyone should have the courage to speak the truth. No person should lie for their own advantage. And people of a country blindly believe in their superstition. At present, I would like to question them about these beliefs through the application of logic. At last, I would like to conclude by saying that let freedom be in your mind, faith in your words, and pride in your nature. Wish you a very happy Independence Day. Thank you. My name is Ayush Singh and I am going to speak on the topic, my idea of a truly free India. We all know that 15th August 1947 is the golden date when India attained freedom after a long and persistent struggle. But if we ponder deeper, a question arises, did we actually become free? Surely we are not being ruled by a foreign power, but is the word freedom confined to self-governance for I have a different perception. The term free India signifies an India where there would be no communal disharmony, non-existent corruption and banished child labor. I want a nation where no stomach would sleep empty and where discrimination and infanticide would be a thing of the past. For all this to happen, we need to become aspirants who strive to make India perfect. I firmly believe that in order for India to be a global power, we need to give our full-fledged support to programs like Atmanibra Bharat and Swach Bharat. And especially with context to the present pandemic, the need of the hour is to clean our environments and maintain our hygiene, for we also need a COVID and disease-free India. Addressing all these problems, we would be able to make India the utopia our freedom fighters envisioned it to be. Thank you.